Welcome to Circling South Sports Podcast. I am joined here by, you want me to call you Will, or does you want Viliami, or? Uh, Will's cool. Will, gotcha. Will Latu, uh, Hus- Washington Huskies commit. This is Seattle interview series number eight. I just want to welcome you on. I thank you uh, for having me on. How have you been lately? How are things going uh, this year? Uh, things been going straight, you know, just doing my senior season, um, playing in my senior season, and just doing school online. Is uh, how are things this year? You know, with how it, seasons being handled with the pandemic, because obviously, you know, you're playing in spring right now, so I'm sure mm-hmm. you know training for that's been a little weird. How has that been compared to uh, previous seasons for you? Um, so like, we all know that like we we play around like September, October, November, and to have it like the these month is is like it's weird because. You know, these months would would be like basketball and like soccer and all that. But, you know, uh, you can't really do nothing. So you just got to train and just get the best of it. Now, I want to sort of look at something that I I did my research, you know, and when you got offered for UW, something that uh, something that was a motivator was talking about, you grades and your education Mm -hmm. how would you say that you know if we looked at freshman year will how Mm -hmm. would you say you've changed as a person since then uh and just overall i guess rather um just because obviously you know you get that offer and it's like hey you know things things are different now right yes sir how would you say things you've changed since then um so freshman and sophomore year i wasn't really paying attention to grades like that so um, and then uh, one day Jimmy Lake came to my school and uh, he just gave me this talk that like really changed my whole mindset. And he said, he, he promised me, he said, if you get your grades right, your junior year will offer you a scholarship to UW. So that whole summer, that whole freshman, um, sophomore summer, I just put my, uh, my mind to the grades. And, you know, next thing you know, my GPA went up so like so high. And then we went to the uh, UW camp at 7-on-7, and he brought me in the room with Pete, and they offered me a scholarship. Damn. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's, that's really cool to think about. Yes, uh, sir. Just, you know, thinking about that and hearing those words from him. And um, to take it, though, to the athletic side, how would you say you've changed as a player since freshman year? Cause obviously, you know, throughout high school, I'm sure things obviously take off and mm-hmm. learn a little bit more about yourself and your game. How would you say you've uh, gotten better since then? On the field? Yeah. Um, on the field, you know, when, when you're a freshman and you come in, you always want to uh, like improve and show people that you can um, handle in high school. So um, my mindset in freshman was just, you know, get the job done, get a spot. Um, let them know that like, you can you can handle uh, the high school pressure and um, I I did that I can say I did that um, I can say my, you know my first game they put me in a play and that first play I got a pick big six so after that I just I just knew that I can do this and I can handle the pressure and um, you know just moving on sophomore junior year to now like I I got better in everything you know got bigger faster stronger and um just the mindset, just that kill mentality, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely cool to think about. So you would say that you were kind of like at first trying to get your feet, you know, get your feet all under you, get ready, and then yeah. so then it's just been just going with it? Yes, sir. So, you know, in reading about you a little bit, said that you were a multi-sport athlete, right? Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite sport outside of football or are they just kind of, you know, they're just kind of second to football? Is there anything that sticks out to you? Uh, people don't know this, but my favorite sport uh, when I was young was basketball. I grew up a basketball player, so. But then, you know, Pops just wanted all his boys to stick to football, so, yeah. Do you think you could have you could have done basketball at the college level if you really sort of focused on it? Honestly, I, I feel like I could have I went somewhere with it. But, you know, I'm here now with football, so I'm glad, thankful. That's how it all uh, came out, huh? Yes, sir. So you've got it here on your uh, Zoom picture. What was your experience like playing at at the time, Central Link Field? Obviously, they've changed to the Flumen Field now. How was, how was that experience, you know, being on that field for, you know, a game and just mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I watched those highlights. You had a pretty good game. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, the experience was just, uh, you know, it was amazing because uh, not a lot of high school uh, players get to play at like a big, big time, you know, stadium. So the experience was cool. Um, I was super excited when we got the news. And, you know, it's just I couldn't wait to play over there. I mean, that that's not my favorite team. You know, my favorite team is yeah. the 49ers, but, you know. <laughs> so I would assume if I'm going to take it off my script a little bit, you know, I have seen it, you know, and I have to admit, you know, it's, it's not always easy. You know, I remember mm-hmm. I, I uh, was there uh, 2019 week 17. That was, mm-hmm. that was terrible, <laughs> uh, but it's fun. You know, rivalries make sports yeah. better, you know, mm-hmm. um, would, would you say that you want to be playing on that field on Sundays at some point? For the Seahawks? Well, why? just for any, you know, weight team, regardless, just play at that stadium, come back home to play you know, in that league? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you know, my mom said uh, wherever is a blessing, you know, so any any team, any field, any, you know, state, I'm going to do the same thing, be the same will, and just show up. Oh, yeah, I got you. So what was the inspiration behind the number 11? Is there a story behind that, or is it just how, kind of how the chips fell, or what, what's the story mm-hmm. behind the number 11? Uh, my number 11, my favorite number, uh, that's my mom's birthday. So, you know, I always got to keep my mom with me because, you know, she pushed me since I was young. Um, always make sure I was fed, you know, make sure we had a roof over our head. So number 11, like, really means a lot. And, um, the, my first football, my first football, like, uh, career game was, uh, in Little League. And, um, she actually chose my jersey. So I was like, oh, I'll stick with 11. And then, you know, when I got older, my mom's birthday was 11. So I just stayed with it. Just made sense, huh? Yeah. Shoot, that's cool. Would you say that, uh, would you, was your mom or your dad a bigger motivator? Or are they both just kind of same way? It's the same push you to be where you are? Or would you mm-hmm. say one of them kind of leaned a little bit more towards, uh, kind of push you a little bit more? Mm-hmm. I, um. I can say that they're both like huge parts um, in my life. Um, but I feel like my dad pushes me more and wants me to strive more because you know how dads are. So, and you know, sometimes moms take it easy on the boys, you know, make sure, you know, they're, they're healthy. They don't, you know, they're not hurt, but I can say they're, they're both big parts of, in my life and they both push me a lot. So, yeah. What would you say is your biggest strength on the field, you know, in your game right now um, at your current state, you know, cause obviously I'm sure you'll continue to grow, you mm-hmm. know, as we get through this season and even, you know, obviously as we get through the season and into college, but what would you say right now is, you know, the strength that you're most proud of on the field? If you had to pick one. Oh, pick one. Uh, I, Probably my strength. My strength is probably the strongest right now. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but uh, that Kennedy game, my stiff arms was just crucial. So, yeah, um, no, that was something I want to look at uh, a little bit when we talked about UW because they, from what I've read, they've talked to you about you know being carrying the ball a little bit up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and no, watching watching that game against Kennedy, I was like, man, this because all the highlights were like scoring and scoring. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Um, would you, is there anything else? You, Cause I only, I may, I had you pick one, but is there anything else that you want to highlight that's part of your game that, you know, you didn't mention that side of strength? My, my vision is another one. I look, I look, you got, got good vision. You know, if the hole is there, I'll take it. But if not, I'll wait to see if another hole busts open. So, you know, vision and strength is probably two of the, my strongest, uh, you know, things to have in me. Is there anything in particular uh, in your game that you, you're working on right now that you want to get better at? Is there anything that right now they're like, hey, I need to work on mm-hmm. so-and-so? Is there anything that you're looking at right now? Yeah, for uh, for that, I have to say my speed. Um, you know, coming, uh, coming off an of injury my sophomore year, you know, I, I gained a little. And so um, I've been trying to, uh, you know, knock down a little. 
before I go to UW. And yeah, speed is probably one of them. Do you have a preferred side of the ball to play on? Because you talked a little bit about running the ball, right? Mm-hmm. But from what I've seen uh, at UW, they want you to, you know, move inside, play inside linebacker. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did read also that you played safety a little bit mm-hmm. uh, in high school. So is there, do you have a preferred side? Do you like, you know, running the ball and scoring touchdowns more than, you know, get on defense and knocking somebody out or? Well, what what I tell uh you know every coach that recruited me is wherever wherever you need me wherever the team needs me I'll be there either there, you know I used to play quarterback so if you need me at quarterback you know I lost the ball one time if you need me at safety you know um but to pick one side is really hard because I do like to hit um hit players on defense and I do like to score and run the rock but like I said whatever whatever spot the coach needs me at I'll be there. So you're versatile, huh? You like to, you know, yeah. stick stick and play. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. I got you. Um, do you try to mold your game after anybody? Is there anybody that you you pick from any level and you say, Hey, I want to be like this guy, or you just you're just will. You just do, you know, you're just doing your own thing. You don't really follow mm-hmm. anybody. Um, you know, I don't like to really, you know, say I put my game after anyone because you know, that that's them, you know. And I yeah. want I want to make my own legacy, but uh my uh my coaches do call me uh the Polynesian Polynesian uh Bo Jackson. So um, there you go. That's I guess bad. I'll take That's that not too. Not bad at all. Yes, sir. Um, and then do you ever sort of look at any of the rankings or you know from websites that get put out about you or read any of this stuff? Is that or is that just noise? So you don't really care. You're doing your own thing. Yeah. Um, uh, that 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 thing is that don't really matter to me. Um. It did. It did catch me in my head. Uh, my freshman year. You know what I'm saying. You know, you just want to put yourself on the map and make sure you know you're on the radar. But uh, like further my uh high school career, that little stuff didn't really matter. You know, it's just it's just numbers. Um, you know that you're all human, so you just gotta do what you gotta do. So let's. Oh, sorry. Were you saying something? No, nah, no, nah, I'm oh. good. Uh, let's get into UW here. What was you know, you talked a little bit about a uh, little bit about Coach Lake and how that all came to be. But what was the overall recruiting process like for you? Because you you know you had offers from other schools, mm-hmm. um, but you chose to stay home. You know, what was that whole process like for you? You know, with the other teams, you know, and uh, leading up to UW. Oh, uh, it, it was tough because you know they all showed like tremendous love and um, you know, coming from a. Uh, a dude didn't, that didn't really have anything. It's hard to choose all these great schools, you know? And so um, I just, when I finally made my decision to dub, I talked to my family. And I remember all the times um, Jimmy Lake came. Like, I can say Jimmy Lake was one of the coaches out of all the schools that offered me that that only came to my school and talked to me. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that, that really hit me. And, you know, a bond with the coaches, the college coaches is really important because, you know, once you get there, you, you want to have the trust in their hands and say that you can call them family, you know what I'm saying? So um, the process was tough, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't regret my decision to go into UW. Um, did the history of, uh, you know, NFL product players factor into your thinking about, at all about how they've been able to mold so many guys to go to the, uh, go to the league? Did that mm-hmm. factor? Or are you just kind of thinking about this is college for me right now? I'm just taking things one step at a time. Or did that kind of, you know, hey, they they kind of mold these guys and they get them set for the NFL pretty good. Mm-hmm. That You'd say that factored in? Yeah, for sure. Um, I, like I see uh, Shaq Thompson. Um, they put me, uh, I think they like, uh, what's it called? Compared me and him together. So, you know, I seen him. And you know John Ross, all the all the dudes, and you know that's a big part because you know if you can if you see them in the NFL, that gives you like a motive, and that's where you want to be. So that plays a big factor in my part. Yeah, now that I think about it, I kind of forgot about that having uh, that Shaq Thompson comparison does make sense a little mm-hmm. bit because I remember he did carry the rock. Yeah, uh, at UW. So I mean, it makes sense, but you know, yes, sir. let will be will. You know, I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> Uh, putting anything on you. Uh, what was your impression of uh, Coach Peterson, Chris Peterson? Because, you know, he's not head coach right now, but mm-hmm. uh, you did say, uh, I think you said you met him. 
uh, what was what was your impression of him? Uh, and did you you know how how much time were you able to spend with him? Um, I can say it, it wasn't a lot, a lot as Jimmy Lake. Um, but when I did have the chance to meet him, seemed like a great dude. You know, he did a lot of great things at uh, UW. And um, what's it called? When when he talked to me, when him and Jimmy Lay talked to me, um, I was lucky scared of the dude. You know, uh, I didn't I didn't know what to say. Uh, I was just you know a sophomore, junior, just you know trying to get offered from UW. But um, the dude was great, and uh, wish he was coaching still. But wishing the best of luck. Let's pivot to Jimmy Lake. What what if what do you think about Jimmy Lake? Because from what it sounds like, you've been able to speak with him a lot more, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, what mm-hmm. are you, what are your impressions of him? Uh, and obviously he got limited experience uh, mm-hmm. as coach right now, just because of the way the season went last year, because everything, you know, can't really blame mm-hmm. anybody for it. But yeah. what, what are your impressions of him? And uh, how excited are you to, are you to play for him uh, coming up here? Uh, I'm super excited to play for Jimmy. Um, you know, I just remember all the times he came to the school Check on me. Check on me. You know the little things that matter. So, uh, oh yeah, he really put, he really plays a important life, important part in my life. So, and um, he's a cool dude. I think I seen him with a, is it a purple charger or hell? I think it is that purple charger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, shoot, I wanna uh, I wanna roll up to school with a purple charger too soon. So, um, you know, can't wait to bond with that dude. Uh, some more, and you know, get to know him a little more. I just can't wait. To can't wait to play with him. Um, now, obviously, you guys play in Adidas unis right now. Um, mm-hmm. Are you are you Adidas an Adidas guy, or did you like the Nike uniforms they used to play in? Or, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, the uniforms Nike Adidas Under Armour is cool, but the cleats, I'm sorry, it has to be strictly Adidas because you know that three star life is you know forever with me. So I got you. So you're, Going in the UW here with the Adidas, it kind of it kind of works for you, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there? Oh no, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, I was just saying, you know, uh, whatever jersey they are, you know, Nike, whether the Nike, uh, Under Armour, it, it don't really matter. But I just have to rock with the Adidas cleats. I got you. Sure, sure. They ha- so they have the they came out with the all black ones this year mm-hmm. with the Adidas ones. Uh, are you excited to most? Pl- uh, are you? Is there a jersey out of the ones that we've got right now that you're most excited to play in, or is that just a jersey at this point? You don't care. You don't care if it's the purple or the white ones or the black ones. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Them joints, uh, them joints are hard. I, I, I love you want to uh, wear the black one right now. So, you know, when I seen them pull it out, I think it was, it was against a uh, Arizona. Yeah, yeah, it was Arizona. Yeah, that I was like, dang, I can't wait to wear that. I got you. Um, speaking about. Pac-12. Let's talk about Pac-12. Is there a team that you're most excited to play against in the Pac-12? Any sort of tie-ins with any of the teams, whether it's you know rivalry games, the Apple Cup, or against Oregon? Mm-hmm. Is there any team that you know you're kind of uh, most excited to play against? Oh, I, I looked on the schedule. Uh, we don't. We don't have SC, huh? Oh, that's a good question. Actually, I don't think we've got. Oh, we might. We might. Let me. Uh, shoot. Put me on the spot here. Um, I don't think so, though. I do not think. Yeah, because I, I swear I didn't see them. But if you had to pick, uh, you'd you'd probably say uh, SC. Yeah, I'd probably say SC if there was on a schedule. Um, you know, they was the dream school, and you know that that's the state of you know where I'm from. But yeah, um, I'd love to play them. But another one that that we do have is a uh, Oregon. Can't wait to play Oregon. Is there any reason behind playing Oregon or just because of, you know, the, the program that they've had for a while now? Yeah, you know, that, that's just a great team. And, you know, when we when we always grew up, you know, Marcus Mariota, DeAnthony Thomas, you know, Michael James, you always want to like, you always want to, you know, when we grew up, I was like, oh, I wanted to be an Oregon Duck. But, you know, now I'm a uh, UW, uh, UW commit. I can't wait to play them. You yeah, know, and then uh, you were right. We do not play uh, SC next year. It's uh, the California teams are just Cal and UCLA and Stanford. So probably next uh, year with the way it rolls yeah. out. I mean, you, you'll get your chance, you know, give you a little bit extra time. But, yeah, no, Oregon, you know, that'll be a big game just because I think 
that game's after two away games. So mm-hmm. That might be a little bit of a challenge. But uh, what do you look forward to most at UW? Not just necessarily athletics, but what are you, you know, if there is anything that, you know, you're really looking forward to just being on campus or. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, just, uh, I say probably getting used to it. You know, it's, it's coming to a whole environment that, you know, you never lived in. But um, just uh, just to get used to it, get the hang of it. Um, you know, there, there's going to be people to help you. There's not going to be people to help you. Uh, you're moving away from your family. So, um, yeah, just get used to it, get the motive going, and just, you know, it's the, it's the next level of life, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Is there any uh, – do you have any input on a lot of the guys that uh, have the chance to stay home? Obviously, a big guy that hasn't announced his announce, uh, uh, ooh, commitment yet is uh, JT. Do you yeah, have any that's thoughts my dog. on guys staying home? Um, mostly on JT, you know, I've, I've been talking to him, like, since after I committed. And I was like, oh, man, this is the move. You know, come on, just stay home. Um, and plus, you know, I, I don't want to play offense and, you know, defense on the other team. So, um, but, you know, JT, that's my guy. And, you know, he, that dude's one of a kind. So wherever he goes, it's a blessing for him and that team. And, uh, yeah, but I, you know, I'll, I'll still stay on him, you know, hopefully he'll come to us, you know, so. <clears throat> I got, I got you. No, I got you. No, it was, uh. Really do appreciate having you on. You know, it's uh, I was looking forward to this because, you know, uh, obviously last season was a little rough. You know, just because it was only four games and yeah. things got cut short. But I'm I'm really excited looking at some of the some of the guys coming, uh, just even this year. You know, so it's mm-hmm. uh, I was like, hey, and then even watching the tape, I was like, specifically that Century Link uh, game, I was like, this guy just. Can't. Yeah and scoring again and again so uh is there anything that you want to you know put out there promote while you're on or um you know just chase your dreams you know what i'm saying um stay in school grades are important and uh yeah that's it uh, vi- uh oh, i almost said it again will lot too i want to thank you for coming on i really appreciate yes, it and uh you know might might bother you to check in after a year or two but i do th- i thank you yes sir